Hey, Cheyenne here from Higher Calling Adventures. Today I'm going to bring you a hunt. That's a solo hunt I did this last year. Greg and Kevin were out um, working, and so I got to be the shooter, the caller, and the cameraman. And so I had a great couple of days with some great action. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. If you are enjoying our content, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel and Rumble channel. And if you're on Rumble, make sure you smash that Rumble button. I also want to thank Dan and Jared from Tolkien Traditional Archery. They're the ones that help put uh, my longbow together to enable me to do these hunts. And so if you are in the market for a new longbow or recurve, make sure you check out their link in the description below. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this hunt, and here you go. Well, it's uh, Tuesday morning, the 14th. Uh, I'm in camp. I'm going to be hunting a couple days by myself. Uh, Greg and Kevin are not able to come out till uh, Wednesday evening. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to try to get her done. I'm going to go up to a um, spot where I've killed a lot of elk in the past. Uh, check to see if there's anything going on up there and uh, yeah so got in last night settled into camp uh, went out and did some bugling didn't hear anything so hopefully today is a little bit better um, get some elk find some elk and stick a big one so I'm gonna be doing solo I'm gonna try to film solo we'll see what happens so it's gonna be a good day about big poop and I had some bulls bugling earlier way down at the bottom so then a couple sequences up here on top not much for sign um, I'm gonna head on down about halfway see if I can get something to pipe up and uh, yeah, there are some bulls in here somewhere it's gotta be not much talking this morning but we'll find them We'll get him talking. So, hope Greg and Kevin are having fun working. I get to come out here and play, and uh, hopefully, can get a solo solo hunt on on uh, on camera. So that's the plan. It's gonna be a little difficult, but we'll see.
had him going, he was close. The wind switched and he shut up. Well, it's uh, Wednesday morning, second day of the solo hunt. Uh, yesterday was uh, sort of a bust. Only had one bull bugling, got up on him, and uh, had him probably about 60 yards in the brush, and the wind switched on me. So that's life, and uh, we're going to try again, um, get something done, get something going on. Uh, a little closer to camp here, but... Yeah, we'll see what happens in this morning. I'll hopefully get something on film for you guys and we'll get her done. I finally got some bulls going right here. And, uh, not too far away, a couple hundred yards. Wind is everywhere. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Wind is real bad. If I can call something up to me. That's the plan anyway. There's a couple of them here just screaming. Let's see if we can get her done.
hurts. I shot it. The lower limb hit my buccal tube. It went high and hit him in the neck. I saw him walk off with my arrow in his neck. Thinking about it, it's probably the probably the string caught my bugle tube. give him an hour. <sighs> Maybe you think you got everything going right. goes wrong. The leg's probably in the meat of his neck. I saw where it went down over here and stood for a while. Where he walked down a little further, so I'm gonna give him an hour in case I hit something vital. The bull's still over there. The herd bull's bugling. I just thought it would be cool to self-film killing an elk. see him uh, walk along below me a little ways. So we'll see. Um, we'll see if it's a fatal hit or not. So we'll continue to walk. And maybe I'll uh, get up on a bed or something and give another shot. The chance to get another shot into him. We'll see. Let's hope and pray. That's still brutal to watch. I, I know he wasn't the biggest bull on the mountain. He was a, a raghorn on the edge of the herd there. And uh, but I really wanted to to self film and 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 get an elk harvest on camera, just doing it myself. I was excited. Everything was working out well, right up to the end there. And um, unfortunately, I didn't film much after what you just seen. Um, I tracked that bull for about four hours. Uh, after about 150 yards, the blood stopped 
Uh, and I got about a drip every 30 yards or so until I couldn't find any more. Um, lost the, tra the tracks. Um, and then I uh, did a bit of a grid trying to see if I can catch up to which direction he went. And just wasn't able to catch up with him. Um, I don't think it was a fatal hit. Got into the meat of the neck uh, area there. And so, uh, yeah, so I'm um, not real happy with how that turned out. Um, and actually, Greg came to pick me up uh, that evening. He picked me up on the other side of the mountain. I was about five miles from my uh, my side by side. And actually, that night we had, um, as he was coming down the mountain, I was coming up the mountain, we sort of sandwiched. Uh, an elk herd and another hunter come in from another side. We can hear him bugling and I ended up getting uh, about six yards from a big six pint bull. Um, but the problem was is I had uh, stepped into the brush to get on the other side of the trail and the brush about chest high and that bull come in at six yards. And I, I was knocked up and ready, but I just didn't feel comfortable with the shot, especially um, after wounding that bull in the morning. Uh, my limb, my bottom limb of my bow would have been in all the junk, and I just, I, I didn't, I didn't want to do that. So, I actually passed on a nice six-point bull that evening, and uh, Greg picked me up, and we we headed on out. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the hunt. Sorry, it didn't end up like I was hoping, and like you guys were hoping it wouldn't end up. Um, we're really trying to show you what really is happening. We're not trying to hide anything. So, you guys can comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, have you guys ever had? Uh, an errant shot, um, one you wish you could take back, and uh, let me know in your comments below. Hope you enjoyed the hunt. If you enjoy what you're seeing, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel. If you're on Rumble, smash that Rumble button. God bless you guys. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Oh, that's him there.